I'm gonna take a look at the Parrot Cargo Mini Drone, which is Parrot's new, uh, I think it came out in July. It's a um, new version of the Rolling Spider. It's got a couple of nice features. They do two versions, one which has um, lights at the front and this version which takes Lego characters, which fit on the top or around the sides. These drones are really easy to fly. You control them from a standard um, smartphone or tablet with Bluetooth LE. So it has to support Bluetooth LE. So I think that's anything after uh, the, the iPhone 4 and that sort of time period, but you need to just double check that your phone does support Bluetooth LE. Bluetooth LE is a, a low power mode and it actually makes connecting to the drone incredibly easy. You don't actually need to do the, the typical syncing, you just load up the app with the device turned on and it automatically connects across to it. So here's a drone with the hull fitted, which you can actually take off for uh, outside flying if you want, and to increase the battery life slightly. I've not tested that, uh, but for indoor use, like I'm going to show today, I'm going to leave the hull on. But to take it off, you simply uh, unclip it. So this just comes off that side. So here's the battery, which is their standard battery that fits a lot of their other connected toys like the Jumping Sumo and their previous rolling spider. It's a 550 milliamp hour battery, um, chargeable via micro USB. It comes with a micro USB um, cable. It doesn't actually come with a wall charger, um, but the nice thing about this new uh, drone from Parrot is that it can charge a lot faster than the old model. Um, with a 2.4 amp charger, you can get it up to full flying time in 25 minutes, as opposed to about one and a half hours on the previous slower charging. If you charge it via a computer or a one amp charger, you'll still, you'll still take a, an hour and a half to charge. Um, you can see at the top there, this is where the Lego character fits, which is a nice, fun feature of these drones. Um, clips on the top there. It actually comes with, uh, this is a Star Wars character I borrowed from my son. This is the actual character it comes with. Parrot are very careful to not mention Lego, uh, but it is a Lego fitting. Also in the box, you get the stickers, so you can personalize the drone if you'd like. Underneath, we've got the pressure sensor and the little camera, which takes very low resolution shots, but you can fit hundreds onto the one gigabyte um, storage included on the drone. And then you can transfer them straight across to your camera via Bluetooth. As well as fitting Lego characters on the, the top there, um, there's also other Lego fittings around the front and also on the bottom and around the sides. So I guess you can carry other cargo uh, with it. It takes up to 14 grams, so I haven't weighed what that actually equates to in Lego characters, but uh, I think you could have some fun with that. So I'm going to show it in flight. But to take off, we just simply uh, tap take off on the controller. You see how stable it is in flight. Very, very straightforward and easy to fly. I'm using it in the, the mode where you can film at the same time. I'm going to try and disturb it, try and tap it. Which is hard because I'm trying to look through the camera as well. But you can see it doesn't really affect it. You can do little somersaults like that just by double tapping on the screen. And you can set whether you want to do a forward, sideways, somersault, etc. And to land it, you just tap on land, which does a controlled landing. So hopefully that's been a useful uh, overview of the, the drone. I think it's um, really good fun to fly. I think some of its nice features are being able to take the Lego characters. Um, I think the fact that it's so easy to fly uh, just using your smartphone, you've got lots of different um, choices of how you use your smartphone, whether you use it in a standard basic mode or the um, expert mode or the ace mode. You can also film your drone while you're 
you're flying it, which is a nice feature. The drone is incredibly stable. Um, I try and give it a little prod in the video as you saw. Um, and it, it doesn't upset it at all. So it carries that from its bigger brothers like the Bebop and the AR drone. Um, all very, very stable. I, I haven't used this one outside, but I have used the previous model outside. They are fine uh, as long as there's no wind. Uh, you don't want them to be taken away by a gust of wind um, because you probably won't get them back. I speak from personal experience on that matter because I've already lost one drone uh, on a windy day where I shouldn't, when I shouldn't have been flying it. They're around 80 pounds in the UK. Um, you don't get a controller with that, so you have to use your smartphone and you don't get a wall charger either. What you do get um, is a drone that you can get parts for, which I think is uh, important. So if you do break it, you can get replacement hulls, um, which is a side bit. So you can get uh, replacement um, propellers and lots of, in fact, I think nearly all the parts of it are replaceable um, at a price. Please take a look at my full review at thetechnologyman.com.